much for a long, long introduction. And um, thank you very much, Chairman. Thank you very much. Uh, good, good morning, and thank you for coming to my presentation. My name is Kazuaki Maeda. Call, call me Kazu by my nickname because uh, this name is uh, very difficult to pronounce uh, for foreign uh, um, person. So I work at the Jubu University, Japan. I usually live in Japan, but sometimes I go, go um, um, abroad to watch, listen, open source related things worldwide. So I'm very happy to be here, Hobart, a very, very beautiful city. I would like to say thank you very much for the conference staff member. Thank, thank, thank you very much. So the title of my today's talk is Impressive Slide Show Without Presentation Software. Uh, firstly, I use Keynote, this is a presenter software, a Keynote to show some slides. During my talk, I will switch to other tool, PDF Reader and Firefox, okay? So here's my background. I work at the, I, I work at the university to give lectures about Java programming and software development. And I uh, do some research project with, uh, uh, do, do some research project about web applications, XML, and com compiler construction. Moreover, I have some joint project with software companies to develop compiler front ends. The programming languages of the compiler front ends I have ever developed for commercial products were Vizdale hardware distributed language, you know? Vizdale. Uh, Visual, Java, SQL, C Sharp, Visual Basic, and so on. But I don't have any graduate students. I'm a solo player. It means that I develop software by myself. Uh, preferably, I write 10K, 20K lines of source code, sometimes 30K, 40K lines of source code by one year. For the past few years, I developed a reverse engineering tool to get design information from source code, C Sharp, and, uh, and VisualBasic.net and uh, Java compiler front end and uh, libraries for a diagram editor, which was built by my sponsored company. This is my background, right? This is my background. All right, so here is what I'm going to talk about in my talk. First, I will talk about ZUI, uh, which stands for Zoom User Interface. Second, I will talk about very shortly PowerPoint. Third, I will talk about LaTeX and the PDF for um, Fourth, I will talk about Prezi. And the fifth, I, I talk, talk about slideshow on web, web browser, Firefox. And if, if we have time, I, I can talk, talk about one more thing, two more things, and uh, Java X or something, something. so uh, let's go. So I live in Japan, and this trip, I fly from Japan, Bangkok, Melbourne, Hobart. Uh, let me show the video. This video was captured from Google Earth. Everybody likes Google Earth, right? So here is Chubu University. My office is there. And uh, I moved from to the airport, that Chubu Central International Airport. I got a flight, uh, flight from here to the, come on, come on, come on, come on. The Bangkok Swanaboom Airport, zooming in, zooming in here. Here is a Bangkok Swanaboom Airport. I changed the flight, and from the Bangkok Swanaboom Airport, I zoom out and zoom in here. Which one? Where is that? Melbourne Airport. And I changed to flight in the domestic from Melbourne to Hobart here. And I moved from the airport to the hotel by taxi. I think we are here. And zooming, zooming, zooming. I don't know here, right? So here, so we are here. So an important thing is that Google Earth provides very good visualization to move from Japan to Hobart with zooming in and zooming out. So called zooming user interface, uh, called ZUI. So my student and I, everybody like Wikipedia. I copied and pasted the contents about zooming user interface. So zoom in here, 
So with Wikipedia right, in computing, Zoom user interface, or Zoomable user interface, ZUI pronouns ZUI, I, I don't like, like ZUI, so I call it ZUI. And uh, it's a graphical environment, blah, blah, blah. This is a very good description in Wikipedia. So I'm going to talk about briefly PowerPoint. Uh, here is a question, and uh, one of my favorite questions, but the audience just like here. <laughs> so, okay, I, I would like to ask everyone one thing. When you give a presentation, how many people do you use PowerPoint for a presentation? Please raise your hand. PowerPoint. Nobody? I mean, I absolutely have to, but, uh, um, I have to use the whole thing. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, understand, <laughs> understand. Thank you very much, and uh, how about Impress? Okay, Impress. So, how about the Keynote for Mac users? I'm a Mac users, I usually use Keynote, nobody. Okay, how about PDF Reader and the Viewer? Okay, two, three, okay, thank you very much. How about Web Browser for presentation? Nobody, no. How about Prezi? No, do you know Prezi? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. So again, here is from Wikipedia. So please read this color line. Uh, in 1987, it was renamed to PowerPoint due to problem with trademarks. This is an old software. PowerPoint is the old software. But uh, the next one, that this, and this program PowerPoint is used to an estimated frequency of 350 times per second. I, I don't know whether this number uh, is true or not, but a lot of people use PowerPoint in the, these days. By the way, if we show Wikipedia page in a PowerPoint slide, we have to copy the web page snapshot and cut it and paste the snippet like this, right? So here's, here's snippets from Wikipedia, here's snippets from Wikipedia. So generally speaking, when, when we use contents on web pages, we usually copy the web pages and paste it on the slide on PowerPoint. If the size of the content is larger than the slide, we need to cut it and paste it in the slide. For example, this is uh, infographic, but got long JPEG images, but uh, we have to cut it and paste in the PowerPoint. So, and uh, in another way, we can embed the link in the slide for launching with a browser. So the slide show is suspended and the web browser is launched to show the web page. So let, let, let me see here, this is a hyperlink here. So the browser is coming in and this is a infographic list. I love the, this kind of infographics very much. So I found this infographics and uh, Yesterday, this is a very cute thing, the eight most likely people to meet in the house share. For example, uh, the very TD one, or the music one, the many things uh, in infographics. <laughs> Funny thing is that the boring one, the milk you both seem to have gone down by half of a night. <laughs> and your expensive shampoo is empty. So this is a problem. Okay, okay. So <laughs> this is a funny thing. So I think PowerPoint is not web friendly. It means that the present software is not fully integrated the web. This is a problem, I think. And so if we put on the image for, uh, from the uh, in, in, infographics, all I can do is here, here, because uh, terms issue, license issues. For, for example, uh, infographics is probably under the term. I, com I co copy it here, infographics to me. In, in important things, the red lines here, the important, you shall not copy, reproduce, make transmittable, publish, blah, blah, blah. 
for any other purposes without the prior written consent, blah, blah, blah. This is a problem. This is not open source license. We cannot copy. We, we cannot cut. This is a problem. This is one problem. And here is a wide format photo. I took the sunset from Tepken, Phuket in Thailand. It's a very, very beautiful place. But uh, for format, it's not, not fit in the slides. And here's a snapshot for Google map uh, to show the place of the cave. It's a very beautiful cave, but uh, if, if we show Google map on web browser, we can use zoom in, uh, zoom in and zoom out called the ZUI, but it's just snapshot. We cannot use the UI. We cannot use any services with the web. We need a web browser to show overview around the cave using the UI. For example, of, of course, if we use Google Map on web browser, here, we, we can zoom in out here, here, here. This is a, this is a Phuket Island. So south edge of the Thailand, very near Malaysia. It's a very beautiful place. I, I like the island very much. And uh, so next one, LaTeX and the PDF. Again, I'm from Wikipedia. So LaTeX shortening one from a word processor uh, on Markup tagging convention to produce an output file P PDF, right? So, how do you pr pr pronounce here red, red text, latex, latex, latex? Okay, okay, I, okay, I, I, I pronounce latex. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I knew about yes, I, I know. Latex and latex. Which one better? LaTeX, okay, for you. So this is a very old software, uh, it's, it's about 30 years old. I love LaTeX very much. We can write beautiful mathematics for formula right here and here, and uh, I write here, this is a uh, source code and uh, the, the LaTeX, document class title, also date, beginning document here, this is a uh, mathematical formula for this, this one. So here is a very complicated uh, expression here. X equal one plus uh, frac one over, one plus frac one, for blah, 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 for one, blah, blah, over. <laughs> very com complicated one, but uh, we can write, we can write the, this kind of beautiful formula. This is a very good, good, good thing for latex, latex. So, uh, if you make a slide in LaTeX, it's very simple. We just only change option, the red color line here, just, just only slide paper size 25 points, that's all. So, we can make this kind of slide. It's a fast page, this is a second page, it is very simple. LaTeX provides, uh, LaTeX, I'm sorry, La, LaTeX pro provides the output one and the the other one to make slides, Beamer. We can make beautiful slides using Beamer. So here is from Wikipedia, Beamer is a radical document class and uh, blah, 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 the, very, very beautiful. And uh, history is this one. Uh, also is Thiel Tanto, uh, Thiel created the first version of the Beamer of the PhD defense presentation in February 2003. It was just a bit old more than 10 years ago. This is a beautiful presentation slides. I, I wrote this one and you, using Beamer. Uh, this is a title page and uh, here is a mathematical notation here. It's very beautiful. So here is a source code that Beamer to create us as slides. This is very simple. Here's a Beamer, and uh, we, we have to specify your theme. And this is a Palo Alto, and the frame is a one slide. Begin frame, end frame, that's all. They're very simple. 
So I will show you some kinds of some kinds of samples. Here is a Palo Alto, Palo Alto theme. Here. Okay, this is the first base, this is the second base. The interesting is that uh, we, we can show the content and table of content here. It's very be beautiful. Or, or, next sample is here. Other theme is from this one, here and here. Oops. All I change changes to just, just only uh, change the theme here from Parado is Lansing. That's all. There are a lot of theme in Gamer. This is a, an, another slide that this is my favorite. Making slides of Gamer and, and table of contents is shown here. This is a, okay, so an agenda page and First page here, introduction, first tab section. And here, this is another example. I, I wrote algorithmic notation as beautiful strides. And uh, this is my photo. Uh, here is a show line by line here. Or this is a tic tac two. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> All right. So this is my favorite, favorite one. Oops, where is my keynote? Oops. So how can we write slides? These slides, uh, we, 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 we can show line by line. Very, sim very simple here. This line uh, far shown first three, and this line uh, we show shown secondary, this line the third three. This is very, very simple. One, two, three. Or how can we how can we can strike uh tic tac, tac two? I wrote this is a first one, second one, third one, fourth, fourth one. But first three, nothing appeared. Secondary here, this is a second, this is a third one here, this is a fourth one here. So it's very, very simple. But this is a PDF file, PDF file, right? So I can show you what's going on. Here is the output from LaTeX. Here is first one, second one, third, okay? So we can put on, we, we, we feel, put on the, okay, come on. We, we can feel, put on the tabular. Very simple, right? Amazing. All right, so. And there are many things predefined, pre many, many things in, in Be Beamer. So I tried everything. I tried everything. I wrote with the website here, there. And here is a, no, one website. This is a, um, now on my Mac. I, I will show you this one here. Where we are. <laughs> this one, this one, this right, this and there are many predefined beamer theme. Beamer themes, all right? So
So this is a be my themes based lies. And then next one, the Prezi. I'm going to talk about Prezi uh, very shortly. The context for Wikipedia again. So zoom in, zoom in. And Prezi is a yes or no. Uh, Prezi is a cloud-based presenter software. And uh, Prezi was officially established in 2009. So um, it started in 2009 here, very small number. The number of Prezi users is growing year by year. In 2013, the number of registered users is more than 26 million. And in April last year, 2014, the number of Prezi users 40 million. And December last year, the number increased to 50 million. Amazing. This is amazing thing to increase the number of users. Everybody use Prezi. So we can edit slides on web browser and uh, run slides show or standalone application. I will show you. Show you. This is the standalone version and Prezi and uh, slides only. How can I? Okay, here, zoom in and move and moving, zoom in, the zoom out here. This is a very fantastic presentation we have you using Prezi. This is a free template. So we have the, the other, other approach. If we write HTML documents and the CSS style sheets and combined with one JavaScript library, we can build slides and run slide show on web browser. Let's move to a web browser Firefox. Where's my Firefox? Okay, so here we go. No, 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 this is a P. Where? Oops. I don't need this. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. Okay. So, come on. This is my timer page. So, this is the first page. Uh, I wrote HTML, CSS, and you using just only one JavaScript file, uh, the name impress.js. So we can uh, show this kind of slides moving vertically. I love this page, the boring one, the milk report seems to have gone down, <laughs> right? And the other one is a very huge image, the composite prism. So here, listening region is the many, many web services here and uh, community services. I don't know if you exactly, a uh, left hand side here, here, or we can put in the slide d3.js. Here is a age distribution of the world and the from, okay, here we go. No? Let's go. Go, 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 go. 50, 90, 65, 70, 75 is the old data. 85, 90, 95. 2000, 2005, 10, now, five years later, 10 years later, a distribution of the world will be changing. So I can write a uh, JavaScript code, JavaScript code read JSON file and draw graph using JavaScript library using D3.js. 
I, I, I read this book and write code. This is a very uh, tu tutorial book for D3JS. So I download ImpressJS for um, making slides. Uh, the, um, the author is uh, Biotech Botica in Poland. First release was uh, December 2011, released under the MIT and the GPA li licenses. So I can find only one book which name is Building Impressive, Building Impress Presentation with ImpressJS. This is only one book I found it. And uh, this is the basic structure of the slides, and it's very, very simple. Here's a, sorry. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, go. <laughs> okay, here's a con container for slides. This is a first slide, second slide, third, third, third slide, and uh, step means a slide, right? So all strides are placed on 3D space. We specify the position of the stride using data X, data Y, and data Z. If we specify a stride with a large data value, the stride is adjusted to the screen size. So it affects zoom out, zoom out. If we specify a stride with a small data scale value, the stride is adjusted to the screen. It affects zoom in. And we can rotate slides on the x axis, y axis, and the z axis. So here are the attributes, the data attribute to specify position, scale, uh, ro ro rotation. That's all. It's very simple. So here's an example. Uh, I wrote one, two, three, five slides. This is a uh, center and north, east, south, and west. I will show you this is this example. Come on, here, first three center, north part, east part, south part, and then up west part. Oops. Next one, I specify the z-axis. Uh, feel 3D depth. First three, uh, first right, uh, Z value is zero, second, second slide is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. I will show you first three, this is a basement, and the second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth, sixth, seventh. Very simple. And uh, I, Wrote what is you for 12 strides that wrote, wrote, wrote at the X, wrote at the Y, wrote at the Z. So I can show you here. Uh, here. <laughs> and here, here, here. And here, here, here. More, I <laughs> okay, and I wrote the the other one uh, co combination with scaling and ro rotating. I wrote this example. This, so this is my picture. We cannot see here, here, here. And there are many samples of slides with ImpressJS on the internet. I like the slide of a mobile phone. This is very fantastic. For Galaxy Nexus, here, 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 here. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, me. <laughs> okay, skip this one. And uh, to build the mobile phone and slide, we need to write this kind of HTML code, uh, code like that using editor, this is a kind of thing. And download only one file in this from GitHub, you will be better to copy CSS files from samples. But uh, usually I 
use web store provided JetBrains, write HTML code. This is a very fantastic IDE. Web Storm is very powerful, including JavaScript debugger. This is very, very good. And if you don't like typing HTML code, some tools help you, but uh, there, are, there are no good tools in right now. So this is a one, one of funny, funny tools. A circular strategy generator uh, decide this, this is a website. This website generate 10, 10 slides, origin 00, zero and the slide size 800, 600, and blah, 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 and preview here. This is a core, and one, two, three, four, five. This is a toy. This is like toy, but uh, it's a sample and a circular generator. Oops, come on. And here is, uh, I showed you before, uh, a distribution of the world. So I wrote this JavaScript code. Where? Oh, oh. This JavaScript uh, you using D3.js. Or we, we can use 3.js for uh, 3D in JavaScript. This is a uh, very simple samples I wrote. 3D space, we, we can write this kind of slide. And uh, I, did, I did designed uh, Re Risotto as an internal DS. This is a Ruby. This is a Ruby, Ruby code to, to specify slides. So this is a cover page here. This is a first slide here. This is a my language. And we, we can specify the, 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 the other file. This is a completed file, x, y, scale to x, uh, y, z. So I, I will show you your output. This is my designed language here. Here, this is a real output um, for my ge generator. And this is a Ruby code. This is a slide page, but uh, we, we can embed Ruby statements for Ruby expression. We require day, this is a day today. We can embed this day here, slide. Oh, oh, oh. Or we can embed uh, three times. This is a while loop here. So let me show the example, first base, second base, third, fourth. So I would like to summarize my talk. I said PowerPoint is not web friendly. And I show you, I, I showed you PDF Beamer provides a beautiful slide, but it's awesome. But uh, we can use ImpressJS uh, to make slides on web browser. So this is a pretty like slide. We, we can create pretty like slide to show using modern browsers. We can press slides on the 3D space, but uh, we feel painful when we write HTML code. Uh, so, we, we, we need more useful tools to help. So we have time, so one more, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot move this slide. I think if we use, if we use Chrome, I can use this one, okay. This is a review JS. The other, the other kind of uh, slideshow to use JavaScript. Okay, here is sample here. This is a ReviewJS. This is sample using ReviewJS. We can make slide this kind of uh, fancy slideshow.
uh, that is all my talk that I can, can, can thank you very much for attention. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for your uh, uh,